and blessings. Bonsoir, bonsoir, misericordia. Bonsoir and blessings to the Marasa. Today is the feast day for the Marasa. Interesting how there's so much connection, but yet still different separate spiritual practices that are highly very similar. However, the Marasa walks with the energy of road openers. Sometimes they come in two or they are doubled in threes. The Marasa not only represents the folklore of ancient spirituality, but for us, they are a reality. Not only do they walk in and they are needed through every single ceremony, through Sansei 21 divisions and Voodoo, the Madasa not only represents a very pure and powerful energy. Some people, so I will answer your questions today, ask me if they have any relations to the Ibejis, the Maguas, which is an Orisha faith. Well, twins are twins, but they have a separate type of energy. The Madasa's energy, yes, they are twins, and they do come in twos, they do come in threes, they can um, appear as boys and girls, boy and girl, girl and girl, boy and boy. The power of the Madasa is no ceremony of our faith, of Sansei Voodoo 21 Divisions, and I will speak mainly for Sansei and 21 Divisions because that is what I'm initiated in. So in speaking on these faiths, do know that the Marasa are a stepping stone to open the door for the 21 divisions. Sometimes they appear as adults, sometimes they appear as teenagers, and most of the time they appear as children. There is a very deep power within the energy of twins. In another faith, they would use the term imaguas, twins. There is a, a faith so powerful because when twins are born in the human world, they are born almost appearing as one cell and then double and divided. Sometimes one twin is said to have more power than the other. But here in the faith of Luo, these twins are ever so powerful. They both walk with the energies of justice and loyalty. Of course, Every single law has to answer to the energies of Papa Bon Dieu. They answer to the energies of the sweetness within the 21 divisions. Now, let's see what else, because I wrote some things down for you guys, okay? Not only, not only are they the divine twins in voodoo, but they are the guardians of the crossroad, okay? And they are also where the living meets the dead. Twins are beyond powerful. Why? If you have one energy or one intricate power and it is divided and tripled and multiplied by two or three, can you imagine that power? How beautiful that is. Also, when we pray to one, we pray to the other. We use in Sansei and 21 Division a symbol and it's either three or two or however, whatever house you come from, those symbols are very strong because those symbols are veves that help to call them down. Now in calling them down and using these veves, you should be initiated in Sansei 21 divisions or voodoo respectfully, just as we respect Orisha faith and we're supposed to respect Orisha faith, we are supposed to respect the faith of those who have sacrificed to receive 21 divisions or Sansei. Now, in moving right along from that, do know they are strongly recognized because of their purity, their loyalty, and being so ancient. So can you imagine the beauty of an energy as a child, as well as appearing with the beautiful energy as a small, innocent child, but yet still a very, very old, blessed, and wise law. They know what you're thinking. Now let's go more into the Marasa. The Marasa also can know what you're thinking telepathically. So they can sit there and they can be on your table or in your ceremony or walking with you. They are having a conversation amongst each other without using the energy of words. 
our words and our verbal transgressions is because we are humans and with all respect, we vibrate on the frequency of physicality. So we do need our tongue. We do need our throats. We do need our minds where as the Madasa being so powerful and telepathic and are able to go through different worlds and energies that they don't need that. They work on a higher level, a supreme being of telepathy. So when you are giving your offerings and as you're giving it, they know where those offerings came from. They know how you felt. They know what you're thinking. Um, God forbid if you are competitive with others and saying, oh, well, I saw John Doe uh, give uh, cream and um, ice cream and cakes and pies. So I'm going to give you uh, coffee cakes and they know exactly what you're thinking and where your heart is. Are you giving these offerings um, just so that you can show the internet, so that you can make your point? Are you doing this from your heart to, to bless them as they bless you? Because we also give blessings because we live in the physical realm and we're able to have those decisions to do that. Those decisions of those blessings of the physical realm gives us also the power to be able to bestow that upon communicating with, with our Orisha, our, in this case, Luo, or spirits, but in this case, Luo, our offerings. If you're making a cream pie, if you're making popcorn, which they love, if you're caramel, putting caramel on that popcorn and you're putting love into it and you're praying to them, well, guess what? They could feel that and they will get closer to you. Just as a child and a baby can sense good and bad, when you when you hand a baby to someone, the child doesn't feel like being bothered. Doesn't mean it's a bad person. Their energies don't match, or it could be a bad person. So their energies are very sensitive, and they are watching everything you do, and they're looking at you. Prepare their food. You run to the store. You say you're missing sugar or milk, and you go back to get it. They're like, "Wow, you are really a cool person." Like, you know, I'm just talking to you on our our level, okay? So, do know that the Marasa walks with not only the ability to be able to be everywhere, not only, only one secret I'm giving, not only do they have the permission to be in the fairy realms, to go and come as they please, as, as well as the Ibejis, but to be in different portals and through space and time, they will also grant permission to you once your heart is right. So do know that today is their feast day and blessings to all of you. Do know that uh, those of you who respect initiation and who have your table, do know that your, your marasa, they love popcorn. We don't self-initiate. So they know who you are and they're waiting for you to give your offerings and bonsoir to my godchildren who have text and sh you know they have showed private pictures and blessings to you guys who really try not for me but try to appease the luo and know that this are the energies of papa bon Dieu. this is the energies of a supreme being that you're asking when you hand that offering over to them that offering gets pulled to the next world and the next realm to them and they receive it so I would like, I know, I don't want to stay too long on this, but take a look at the movie Coco. For example, there were a few muertos in there and there were a few spirits and so forth that they walked around and they looked at all the offerings that were given to them because they received it on the other side. So for your innocent and beautiful children, do know that if they still, they leave Santa cookies, same concept, and, and milk, do know that those energies of those cookies, they may still be there. But why are they still there? Because, because it is the essence and the energy that has already been received to the other side. I have company, so I have to go and I agree to make a video on the Marasa. Bonsoir a la société, bonsoir misericordia, bonsoir ay bobo, bonsoir and blessings to all of you with good hearts, good soul, love your children, love your family, love the children of the world in blessings.